गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर चैप्टर नाउन्स इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिड व्हाट आर नाउन्स व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ नाउन्स एंड वी आल्सो डिड द सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल नाउन्स नाउ आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउन्स नाउ बेटा व्हाट आर काउंटेबल नाउन्स काउंटेबल नाउन्स आर दोज नाउन्स दैट कैन बी काउंटेड मीन्स विच वी कैन काउंट लाइक चेयर वी कैन काउंट द नंबर ऑफ चेयर्स आई दर वन चेयर टू चेयर थ्री चेयर्स लाइक दिस also uh, like a bird also if we take another example we can count the number of birds fine so these are all countable nouns the objects which can be counted will come under countable nouns and what are uncountable nouns nouns that cannot be counted or separated will come under uncountable nouns we cannot put numerals before them like we can uh, ex- take example of milk we cannot say one milk two milk or three milk because it is uncountable but we can make them countable if we add something else like we say two cups of milk fine we uh, like uh, more than one by using an appropriate countable noun like if with milk we add cups so cups we can count na how many cups of milk or we can say jug one jug of milk like this so in real sense uncountable nouns cannot be counted means they don't have plural forms but countable nouns are those nouns which can be counted and they have their plural forms also now come to the exercise exercise e is separate the following nouns into countable nouns and uncountable nouns now students there are nouns are given to you and you have to separate them as countable and uncountable nouns try it on your own now our next i hope this topic is clear to you countable and uncountable nouns now the next topic of this chapter is gender this also you have studied in your previous classes uh, gender we have four genders basically masculine gender feminine gender common gender and neuter gender now what is masculine gender masculine gender is that gender that belongs to males fine in which the male group will come under it like man king lion etc feminine gender is the opposite of masculine gender that is in which the female group will come under feminine gender which belongs to the female group like woman girl queen princess etc now come to the third gender is common gender this is the gender which is common to both masculine and feminine gender like for example i take teacher a teacher can be a male teacher a teacher can be a female also so teacher will come under common gender means the nouns that refer to both male and female group will come under common gender in the same way friend also take this example of friend you may have a boy as friend or you may have a girl as a friend so both can come under this common gender now the fourth is neuter gender what is neuter gender neuter gender includes the nouns that refer to neither to the male group and nor to the female group basically things will come under it like pencil a pencil can neither be said to be in male group and it cannot be in female group also so it will come under neuter gender now what you, uh, the next thing is formation of the feminine gender means from masculine gender how we form the feminine gender so for this also there are certain rules like first is by using an entirely different word means some masculine genders are there and in order to make their feminine gender we use an entirely different word like for boy the feminine gender is girl for husband it is wife for horse it is mare so these words are totally different from the words which are being given in the masculine gender next is by adding e double s at the end of a masculine noun if a mas- masculine noun is given to us then in order to make its feminine we can add e double s like author will become authoress host will become hostess lion will become lioness now the third type is in this case also we add e double s but here we add after dropping the final vowel of a masculine noun means first of all we have to see the final vowel of the noun like in case of emperor the final vowel is o 
here r because r is the consonant and o is the final vowel so we'll remove this o and we'll add e double s after this r so that the masculine the feminine gender of emperor will be will be empress same way master here the final vowel is e here also r is the consonant so final vowel is e we'll remove this e and we'll add e double s at the end so that master will become mistress so now the fourth rule is by changing a word before or after a masculine noun means masculine noun is given to you either we change the word before the masculine noun or we change the word which is after the masculine noun in order to make its feminine gender like land lord will become land lady milkman will become milk maid step father here the feminine gender of step father will be step mother peacock is peahen likewise now come to the exercise change the gender of the nouns given below wherever possible why it is written wherever possible this is written because if if we are being given some gender which cannot be converted into feminine gender then it will remain like this only will or we will put a cross in that column fine like we cannot write down the feminine gender or we can change we cannot change the gender of sugar so we will put just a cross in this column maid servant can be written as man servant clear so in the cases in which we can change the gender we will write down the opposite gender and in such cases where we cannot change the gender we will just put a cross and these uh, are given in mixed form means masculine gender are given in some cases in some cases feminine gender are given and in some cases neuter gender is also given to you i hope it is clear to you now this was your chapter 2 that is nouns i hope it is clear to you all now try out these exercises on your own and in our next lecture i will send you the answer key for these exercises thank you so much